Hi guys, it's Evelyn with Cats Play Art. Um, I know the camera seems a little bit far away today. Uh, it's because I'm going to be doing a waterfall. And let me see if I can bring it in just a little bit. And I wanted to make sure that you uh, got to see everything I was doing. Um, I'm starting with a dry canvas. And this is a 10 by 20. And what I'm going to do first off is take some of my Deco Art Pearl White that I have mixed for Dutch Pour. And I'm going to spread that on my canvas. And no, I'm not doing a Dutch Pour, but I want to have. A slick base for whenever I do my waterfall so that it has something to slide over other than just the dry canvas I'm not I don't plan on putting a big thick layer uh, but I, I, I want the canvas wet with paint and I'm using a color I don't mind if if uh, if I get negative space I don't mind if it shows through um, and the Dutch pour mix is very fluidy, and I'm making a mess of this. I didn't put enough paint on. I'm going to make sure I get my edges. I, pref I personally prefer to make sure I get my edges covered with some sort of paint before I start uh, putting my color on. It's, it's a personal preference. Uh, I know quite a few artists that do not, whenever they're doing something that they're gonna uh, uh, tip off paint, but it, it's, it's a personal preference. Uh, that way I know my uh, edges are covered, plus I can't play with paint. Uh, I'm going to start calling these videos my adventure in acrylic painting because um, <laughs> everything I do is almost experimental. Uh, I never know what it's going to do, what it's going to, how it's going to turn out and that's the fun part. Something in my paint. That was not good. Okay. So I've got my canvas covered with uh, white metallic pearl and I'm just going to put that aside and let it uh, sit while I uh, layer my cups and I don't have, believe it or not, I don't have any paper towels. Hold on one second, let me go over here and get some paper towels. I used my paper towels this morning. Um, I spent the morning cleaning my thumbtacks. And some people will say, well, I don't see why you have to clean your thumbtacks. And it's like, well, I do because <clears throat> whenever you, if your thumbtacks get a bunch of buildup on your base, uh, the base of the thumbtack, your canvas won't sit uh, even in flush. So... Um, yeah, I have a hair. I wonder where, where I have a hair from. Couldn't be for my dog, could it? Uh, I have three cups here. And I'm going to do a waterfall. And I'm going to try and experiment with this. I have a nice 12 inch, or 12 ounce cup. And then I have two 5 ounce. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them all three and I'm going to, my plan is to pour the waterfall down the center and what I've seen and what I have done in the past is trying to get these blank negative spaces up in this area because your waterfall comes down and then starts to spread. All of a sudden you're messing up your design trying to get paint up here and here. So my idea is do the main waterfall 
and do many waterfalls at the corner to kind of bring up this negative, uh, fill up this negative space. We'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> the colors I'm using are obviously the uh, Modern Masters Metallic Pearl White. I have Modern Mas Masters Metallic Glacier Blue. Folk Art Emerald Shift, Folk Art Color Shift Emerald. Uh, Soft Gold by Deco Art. And this is hilarious. I hope you can see this. This is Sargent Liquid Metallic. And it is obviously purple. But on my label, it says red. So I don't know what universe I was in whenever I was uh, labeling this, but obviously this is this is not red. It is purple. Uh, then I have color shift purple. And last but not least, Liquid Text Basics Fluorescent Pink. And I have a little dragonfly glaze set aside. I may add a little bit of that just for a little sparkle and shine. Um, but although most of these are, are metallic and, and will, will give a shimmer and shine. I'm going to start out with some of the pearl white and I'm not going to put a lot in these cups um, on the base because I, I, I don't I don't want just white. Um, if I was doing an angel wing pour over half the cup would be white. But I'm not doing an angel wing, I'm doing a, uh, a waterfall. Um, Let's see, let's go with the purple, it's mislabeled, I, I'm sorry, I find that hilariously funny. Um, purple is my favorite color and all of all the colors to mislabel, it had to be purple. Um, and I mean, it's a beautiful purple. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, and then I'm going to do the emerald green, kind of get a Mardi Gras thing going there. And then I'm going to do the light purple. Now, according to Smart Art Materials Calculator, I only need 9 ounces of paint to cover this. And I'm going to have a lot more than 9 ounces of paint because I know it's going to, I'm going to lose some whenever I tilt it. Now, the fluorescent pink, which is another one, a favorite color. I have to give credit to Brenda at Be Balanced Art for introducing me to this color. Uh, I would have never, uh, I am very conservative in my colors, I, I think, and she is, she loves vivid colors, and she insisted that I try this color, and I'll be honest, I have not regretted it. Uh, uh, let's do a little of the soft gold next to that pink. Um, Which, I love this soft gold. Uh, it is so pretty. And then the glacier blue. I keep saying, oh, I love this color. I love this color. Well, I it's rare that I use colors that I don't care for. Um, and I think that's that's uh, true with most artists. Uh, you have a tendency to go with the colors that you like, um, and uh, that's what you have a tendency to work with. Because, and let's face it, purples and blues, 
uh, usually um, are very appealing to most people. Do a white. Back to the purple. I thought about doing a rainbow pour, but I have not had luck with rainbow rainbow pours. Um, I I I just they they don't turn out the way I I expect. Uh, I so I'm going with the more no reds. No yellows in this one, although I got most of the other colors that is in a rainbow. Except I don't have a dark blue. Okay, this time I'm going to put the gold before the pink. As I said, I I, I don't. Fingers are getting tired. Squeezing bottles. Okay. I think that's going to be my last last round, so I'm going to start camping some paint here. Putting it off to the side. Okay, I've done the green. Pink. And although I'm, I'm not layering down the side. I am, they are layering and not mixing. I'm not doing a dirty pour where I'm shooting, purposely shooting the color down and into the pink below it. I'm, I'm layering the color over the top of, trying to make sure that they. They don't mix too much. Um, Let's do the pink. And my consistency of my paint is thick. It's a it's uh, a slight mound. Whenever I mix the paint, um, because I am, since I want it to run, I don't want it too awfully thick, but I don't want it to uh, not move either. Okay, a little blue. Next to purple. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Uh, for me, it is Saturday. Um, I have, this morning, I spent several hours cleaning thumbtacks. Uh, yesterday, I, I started the process of cleaning out my front room um, from everything that's in there. Um, my boss informed us that uh, beginning, I'm going to put a little bit more dragonfly, just a little bit of the dragonfly here. Um, that sometime next week, uh, he is expecting to, uh, and finish up with white, to, uh, get things set up that we can move our work computers home. And I do have my own personal computer, and I'm like in a panic because it's like, oh, where the heck am I going to go with a second computer? Um, it's a very generous, generous offer, and I have, I appreciate it, but I'm in a panic because it's like I don't know where I'm going to go. Um, so, okay, I am going to lift my canvas up and put it on these little four ounce cups and I'm using the push pins I have 
um, to set in the middle of the cups so it's stable. I'm going to move, kind of push some stuff back here and uh, remove the remote for the camera so that uh, I don't accidentally get paint all over it. And let me get up to the end of the board and start this waterfall. And the difference between a waterfall and a straight pour is the angle of the canvas. And in my opinion, you don't have to bounce the cup to get the rings because the paint is falling away from the initial pour and not just spreading out. So you're going to be getting the fingerlings that you get uh, in a straight pour naturally. And I'm probably pouring a little too fast. And move it over a little bit. And bring it back over towards this side. I'm going to use all my paint in my cup. Okay. I'm going to take a moment to kind of tilt, get that back in the center. Now I'm going to do my little cups in the corners and see how this turns out. Oh, I'm going way too fast. Okay. Probably only needed one of these. Two. I wasn't sure. Okay. Now let's see what happens when I start to tilt. Now if I lose some of these little small puddles, I am not overly concerned. I just don't, didn't want to have these great big blank spots that I was going to have to push my paint back to try to cover. Before I tilt, I'm going to take my torch. Ooh my almost empty torch and pop any bubbles I do like the colors okay I'm going to take the paint off of this cup that was underneath kind of run it down over this corner put it aside same on this one, just so that corner is good and covered. Yeah. I'm going to grab 
underneath my tilt then start tilting very slowly I'm tilting toward my, myself first since the paint was naturally going the other way Ooh, I don't want to lose too much now I'm going to tilt back and as I said I'm not overly concerned I am going to tilt down see if I can get that corner down there in the paint, trying to stabilize it. Tilt this way, down and toward. And yes, I got my finger in the paint and the cor on the edge. It's a fatal flaw of mine. Got that corner. Back. Lots of paint left over. Pulling some of that paint off the underside of my canvas. And now, just because see what happens. I'm going to tilt back, see if I can run some of, get some of the weight of the paint back up here. down to the center of the canvas. I really like the color combination. Um, let me obviously clean up my hands. Um, just wipe them off first and grab my torch and pop some bubbles I see uh, that have formed. With my almost empty butane torch. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. This is not cutting it. With I don't have enough butane to really torch this and get the uh, what I want going on. Okay, I'm gonna drop my torch. Grab my bottle of butane. Fill it up real fast. Okay, apparently my torch is going out. Uh, does not surprise me because I dropped it. Um, I will uh, grab my Wander Wand after I uh, get it plugged in and go over it and pop the bubbles. 
what I will do with this extra cup of paint that I layered, I will put a lid on it, and, or a, uh, some uh, press and uh, seal, and save it for a later date. Let me put you on pause, and then bring you down for a closer look, because this, this painting is very stunning, um, and... Uh, it it's 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 prettier up close to let me see if I can bring you in a little bit while the camera is stable. Uh, it's not gonna give you a good enough view. Uh, but let me put you on pause and I will be right back, okay? <laughs> 